I gotta say, 2023 so far with the makeup releases has really lifted its game. It really has, and I'm pretty excited about it. So we are going to talk all about new makeup releases that are either just been released or are coming soon, and uh, I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions, and I want to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments too. So hopefully that sounds interesting to you. If it does, let's go ahead and do the YouTube -y things. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get into it. I'm going to be sitting to the side so that you guys can see the pictures properly here and I am going to be kind of looking down and stuff because I have my phone in front of me so that I can see what I'm talking about and if you're wondering about this makeup look it is coming either the next video or the one after that so stay tuned. I'm going to start off with trend mood but I will go on to other Instagram accounts as well so I'm going to link all of the Instagram accounts that I follow down below or mention in this video. I actually find lately trend mood doesn't seem to post all of the new makeup releases. I'm not sure if that's I'm not even going to speculate I don't know why but I do find that like makeup release radar hot fire makeup and transtopia and also a couple of like luxury accounts like chic profile and stuff they all kind of post all of the new makeup releases so make sure you follow more than just trend mood in my humble opinion so that you can kind of see all of the releases because there's some good ones that like slip through the cracks of trend mood at least from what I'm seeing. First up, we are going to talk about the new LH Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. This is the Blommer palette, a flowery palette with natural earthy shades, rosy floral tones, and dramatic deeper colors, nine shades with multiple finishes. So LH Cosmetics is an indie brand. Uh, it's from Linda Holberg. She's a Swedish makeup artist, and she is phenomenal phenomenal this one is really pretty I also actually like the look of this one I don't super love that kind of darker gold in the bottom corner because to be honest it's just not the kind of shade that I personally would use but I do think it looks really cohesive within the palette the rest of the shades though are totally tones I would use on the everyday this kind of palette I would kind of use on the everyday do I have all of these shades already in my collection yes you bet your bottom dollar do I need this palette absolutely not is it something I'm going to go and run and pick up instantly? Probably not. I think it looks stunning. I actually do think this looks beautiful. And if I think if you're looking for a color story like this, you're going to see a lot of those pink tones at the moment because of Valentine's Day. And I think if you're looking for a Valentine's Day palette or a pinky type palette, I actually think this is an awesome option. And if I was looking for that, this was probably one I would absolutely pick up um, because I think it's really pretty. I just don't need those tones right now. But when I go to do a full face review of the brand, which I will do eventually this year, I can see myself picking this palette up for that review purpose because I do think that this is very beautiful. I love the tones. It's very everyday friendly and I think it's nailed the brief. So I like it. Kosas has released a new Glow IV Vitamin Infused Skin Illuminating Enhancer. So it's a clean, nutrient-rich skin enhancer with a hint of tint for a reflective, healthy glow that gets noticed. Use all over as a targeted highlighter mixed with foundation or skincare. $38, that will be US. 10 shades available January 31. Uh, I like it. I mean, essentially, I think this is Kosas's version of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, but I'm into it. I like the shade range. I think that's a great shade range. I have already, because uh, Sephora US, I was on there peeping away today, and uh, I noticed they had it on their website. It's not for sale yet on their website, but they had it, and I looked at the ingredients, and the ingredients are made friendly. There's no coconut in it, which is exciting. And I'm definitely going to pick this up when I can get my hot little hands on it, because I think that this is a awesome product. I didn't super love the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I know that's a controversial opinion. It's just didn't really tend to work for me and it did tend to break me out as well and lift my foundation. Uh, and so I'm excited to try this. I usually love everything Kosas does. So I will absolutely be picking this up. I don't need it and I, but I don't care because this is the kind of product that I really, really, really enjoy. And I really like the look of two shades. I like the look of Revive and I like the look of Spark, which is like a pinky one. And yeah, this is, yeah, this is my kind of product. I'm really into this at the moment, this kind of like illuminating product. And I love the brand, so yeah, I'm here for it. MAC Cosmetics has released actually something that's really quite unique and I'm kind of intrigued. This is a Lash Dry Shampoo Mascara Refresher. So $24 US dollars, a clump resistant 
lightweight top coat that acts as dry shampoo for your lashes to reshape and intensify your mascara by adding instant volume and softness. I don't think that that kind of a product has ever come out before, right? I mean, potentially there is and they just haven't named it the same or I haven't seen it, but I think this is pretty new and in innovative and exciting and I'm kind of intrigued because I have had before, you know when you transition from like day to night makeup and you want to put more mascara on but your lashes are kind of like dried and stuck so when you apply more mascara they either clump them all together and make them look like spider legs or it just doesn't really do anything. I'm wondering if this would then like solve that problem and if so I am massively here for that. That is very exciting to me and I will probably try this product when I can get my hands on it because I think it's intriguing. By the time it comes out in Australia everyone will probably already have reviews up on it so if the reviews suck I won't pick it up but we'll see. This one uh, probably will buy most of the colours mostly maybe depending how we go but I'm into it. This is the new Pillow Talk. Charlotte Tilbury, I should say, Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand. I feel like so many of us have probably seen these around the interwebs. So these are essentially like her Glowgasm wands, but instead of it being a metallic blush formula, it is a matte cream blush formula. And I really actually surprisingly like those Glowgasm wands. I think that they're awesome. So yes, I will be picking these wands up. I think they release on her website on the 2nd of February from the top of my head. And I will 100% pick them up. And as soon as I get them, I will be reviewing them. Don't you worry. I think they're beautiful. I think the colors are stunning. And I'm very, very, very intrigued to try them. Jones Road has released a powder bronzer. So a silky powder that adds instant warmth to the skin. Sheer and buildable. And it can be used to give skin a natural tint or for color correction. Okay, yeah. Okay. The shades are quite interesting to me. There's like a dusty rose shade. I don't think that the bronzers go deep enough personally. Uh, could be wrong about that. You guys let me know in the comments if you're a deeper skin tone, if there's a shade for you. Uh, I don't think that I can even get Jones Road anywhere in Australia. Um, I mean, I could order it, but I don't know. The brand Jones Road doesn't seem like it would be my vibe. I saw everyone talking about that What The F foundation. And I think the brand is very like no makeup, aesthetic, multi-use products, glowy, dewy, but without any powder, setting down kind of, um, yeah, no makeup vibe. That's not for me. I don't necessarily like the no makeup makeup thing for me. I like it on other people. It's just that I am so lazy that if I'm not gonna, if I want that look, I'm just not gonna wear makeup. I'm either doing makeup or I'm not. <laughs> and so the, I just haven't ever been interested in the brand, but I am kind of intrigued about the bronzers. So yeah, if I can get my hands on one easy enough, I probably would pick one up, but like, I'm not going to go out of my way, but I do think that they look cool. Danessa Myricks is releasing the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder Flushed Matte Color for Cheek and Limp. Yeah, I'm going to pick this up. Unless everyone's got them before me. Actually, I did see Tanya B. Wells has a review up, so I need to go watch her review. Um, I 100% am going to pick this up. I think that looks super cool. The Yummy Skin Blurring line is so intriguing to me because I hated the Yummy Skin Primer and Foundation, like hated them. Part of the reason was they were so heavily fragranced, but a lot of the reason was I just also didn't like the products. But I really, really like the Yummy Skin Blurring Powder that she's got, like the Balm Blurring Powder. I think that's an awesome product and the formula works really well for my skin. So I'm super intrigued to pick up one of these blushes and try them out. It's got to be like cream blush season, right? And I'm here for it and I like the shades and I want to try them. Tarte is releasing the Shape Tape Blush Tape or I guess it's shape, Blush Tape. Just Tarte Blush Tape, I guess. Essentially a, a ripoff of the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm ones. Will I pick one up? Probably. Probably. I'm trying to get my hands on one of the Tarte like Shape Tape contour ones that they've just released. I had it in my cart on the Tarte website because I was going to get it and compare it to the original contour one. You know, I'm sure everyone's doing it, but I was going to do it as well. Um, and I kind of waited too long and then they all sold out. So <laughs> I missed the boat, but I probably will pick one up. Just I'm just interested in the formula. I thought the shade range, surprisingly from Tarte themselves, uh, the contour one, like the contour one things that Tarte just released, I thought that shade range was a lot better than the Charlotte Tilbury one. So I was interested to try it and these look kind of pretty. So yeah, I'll probably pick one up eventually. 
I really probably will. I have a full dedicated video to this product release already, so I will link that down below for you if you want to see more thoughts on it. But this is the Pat McGrath Labs The Love Collection. Actually, fun fact, the day that I'm filming this is the day that it's getting released. Yes, I'm picking it all up pretty much. I really am. I think, listen, I know that people are upset, you know, more pinks, more golds, more whatever from her, but I think that like this is a Valentine's Day collection. It's what you're going to get for a Valentine's Day collection. Do you know what I mean? Just like when you look at all of the other brands that are releasing their Valentine's Day collections, they're releasing those pinky tones. And I know that the argument is, yeah, but she only releases golds and pinks and all the same shades. But I would argue, like, even if you look at, say, Nat Natasha Denona, yes, the color stories are different, but there's a lot of similar tones. Not exactly the same, but there is a lot of similar tones in those collections as well. So I think people are just... I'm critical of Pat. I don't agree with Pat's customer service lately. I really don't. I didn't super love the sticker for the Midnight Sun on the Mothership palette either. So there is definitely things that Pat has done recently that I'm like side-eyeing. Absolutely. But I do think sometimes people are being a little bit harsh and, or maybe their expectations are a little bit too high from her. Like it's like seems like she can do no good. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know. Take with that a grain of salt. That's just my personal opinion. For me, I really, really think this is a beautiful drop. I love the eyeshadow palettes. I have been asking for an all matte eyeshadow palette for, from her for a long time. So I'm picking that up. I love that there's liquid shadows. I'm going to pick a couple of those up. My only critique is that I would have loved to have seen two new blush shades because I love her blushes so much and I would have picked both of them up. And I don't like that she's released like existing shades, but at least it's known that they're existing you know what I mean she's not hiding it we all know that we own them um so I'm not you know I know not to pick them up but I would have just selfishly loved two new shades because I just love the formula this new release I've actually already picked up as it dropped really quickly on revolve which is unheard of normally and I was so excited I instantly picked them up so this is the new juice balm vegan tinted lip balm from tower 28 beauty so a buttery smooth vegan tinted lip balm boosted with healthy ingredients and bursting with juicy color um, and there's four shades and I picked up the shades mix and shake I don't know why as soon as I saw this I was like I absolutely want these like I absolutely want them they look so pretty so cute I love the colors I love a lip balm I go through them like no tomorrow I'm constantly going through them so I'm really excited they should come next week so I'll put like a short up once they come just trying them out but I'm hoping that they're really nourishing on the lips and as adorable as they look in the photos because yeah as soon as I saw this I love Tower 28 as a brand too like a lot of their re releases really grab my interest they're kind of like Kosas like them and like Kosas and Tower 28 whenever they release something I'm like what are you releasing I'm very intrigued I want to know because I very rarely meet a product from those brands that I don't like but yeah instantly it was like I knew I wanted them and as soon as I saw them available on Revolve I picked them up straight away I'm an into them one other thing that I wanted to talk about from Trend Mood was this uh, cherry Tom Ford drop. So I know you guys would have seen a lot of this all over the net already. The cherry smoke and the electric cherry perfumes have already dropped. They're live. You can buy them. But I want to talk about the new eye color quad because look at that eye color quad. It looks stunning. Stunning. I am so into this. I don't, it doesn't appear to be a cream formula, but I'm really hoping it is his cream formula because that's my favorite favorite formula from him. And this color story is amazing and I can just see how good it would be in that cream formula. But regardless, yes, I will 100% be picking this up. Look, I have not had really anything bad to say, if anything bad to say so far about these makeup releases. And that's what I'm telling you. Like last year, if you look at my makeup releases, most of them, I'm like, this is a snooze fest. I'm over it. I could care less. This year, I'm like, I was planning on cutting back because I was expecting it to be like last year where it was really boring. And now all of a sudden, I want freaking everything that's getting released. Okay, I get it. I'm not going to get the lipsticks. I don't need any red lipsticks, but that quad is coming home with me. I'm just switching over to Trendstopia for a couple. Uh, Lethal Cosmetics is done, like has just released a new like launch or a new collab. So it, this is actually like four quad eyeshadow palettes and you can either buy them as the quad, you can buy the single empty quad like Z palettes or you can, and you, sorry, you can also buy the shadows as singles as well. So it's really like a pick your own adventure kind of a drop. But the awesome, amazing thing about this 
um, bundle or this new drop from them is these are charity bundles. So four bundles where 100% of proceeds will go to charities depending on the theme of the bundle or items you purchase. So each theme has two new shades and two pre-existing shades. From what I've seen, the existing shades are the mattes and then the new shades are the metallics. So there's a rescue bundle, a nature bundle, an ocean bundle, and a wildlife bundle. And then depending on which bundle you pick up, it's going to depend on what charity that will go to. But 100% of the proceeds, that's what it says, 100% of proceeds are going to charities. And I just think that's amazing. And I also think the quads themselves are very cute. They really are. For me, if I was going to pick anything up from this launch, which I probably will... I would just get the single metallics because I have pretty much nearly all their, their matte shades. At least the ones in here, I'm pretty sure I have nearly all of them. So I would just kind of pick up the single like metallic shades and then I've got, I've got MTZ palettes and stuff. But I think this is really cute and I think if any of these color stories really speak to you, this is an awesome way to try the brand, especially knowing that the 100% of the proceeds go to charity. I just think that is really, really an awesome idea. I've gone over to Makeup Release Radar now because I want to show you guys Vive is releasing cream blushes. Yes, they are. So this is the Sunset Blush Balm. So yeah, I mean, it is cream blush time. <laughs> A light, buildable liquid blush that adds a natural natural veil of radiant color to the cheek. Um, so it's got a heap of ingredients in it, you know, the whole usual, but their shades are matching to their powder blushes, which I think is really awesome. The shades look really, really lovely to me. I will pick up probably just one shade to begin with and try it out. It does say blush balm. It's not usually my kind of a forte. So I'm a little bit nervous about whether or not this product is actually going to be my vibe I guess and work for me and working with my makeup aesthetic but I love Vive you guys know I love Vive so naturally I'm absolutely gonna pick one of these up I know they're live on the website already hopefully by the time this video goes up they're live on like Cult Beauty and Space NK as well because their website the Vive website directly is a little expensive for shipping this Natasha Denona brush and bag bundle like travel brush set and makeup pouch Oh my lord, I wanted this so much. Like, this is adorable to me. I loved the My Dream Collection packaging. I loved it. I love this color pink and the black splashes. It is so my vibe. Like, if I had makeup brand, these would kind of be my colors. I was obsessed. And so when I saw this, I was like, absolutely, I am picking this up. This is awesome. I don't need it, but I want to pick it up. Then I saw the freaking price, which was like 139 US dollars. It works out to be about 220 or 230 Australian. And I was like, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I would pay probably about 100 to 100. No, actually, I feel like I would pay max 120 for this, like personally, just for out of my wants and needs, especially because these aren't natural hair brushes. They're vegan brushes, right? So they're cheaper to make. Just no way am I going to be paying 200 and something Australian dollars for this. Is it adorable? Absolutely. Are the brush brushes probably pretty good? Yeah, but not over $200 worth. Absolutely not. No way. Absolutely not. No, but I wanted it. I did, but even I have lines. Like, I'll spend some coin on makeup, but even that pushed my limits. Last one that I'm going to talk about, because I think I've probably been filming for a while, Shantikai, the Wild Meadows Spring Collection. Now, I did drop that they've already got this on their website. I put it on my community tab because I know quite a few of you guys actually were interested in this collection. And what I want to know is, because I, I do think this collection is cute. The lipsticks look adorable, the blushes look adorable, and the palette does look pretty cute. So I do have a question for you, and if you could pretty please let me know in the comments, do you want me to pick this collection up and review it? Because I'm half on the fence about it already. I think it's really pretty and really cute. I've never tried anything from the brand before. Should this be my first collection that I try? Because if there's enough genuine, don't worry about like my wallet and all that kind of stuff, bless your little hearts, because that's what you guys always say. I won't pick up anything I really don't want to pick up, don't worry. But if enough of you guys genuinely, truly want to see a review on this little collection, I will pick it up because I am half interested. And so I'm going to blame you for enabling me is pretty much what it's going to be. <laughs> but please let me know in the comments if you do want to see a, uh, a review. That is going to wrap this video up because I don't want it to be too, too long, even though it probably already is. Uh, I know I didn't really hate on anything. I really didn't. And I swear that is not because I'm trying to kiss any brand's asses or anything like that. I'm just genuinely excited about the releases, which I'm excited about because last year, all last year, it was just very sporadic releases that I got pumped for. 
and I was just like bored most of the like 99% of the time last year I was quite unimpressed with makeup releases whereas so far nearly every release I've seen this year I've been like oh okay I really want to try you that seems really cool or that seems really interesting overall I'm actually really really excited with the releases so far my wallet is gonna hate me like proper gonna hate me but anyway here we are so let me know your thoughts on releases down below let me know the ones that you would like to see specifically on my channel because I really really do take your guys's opinion into account again I don't buy anything I don't want to but I really do take your opinions into account so please let me know what you want to see reviewed or just mentioned or anything like that on the channel and other than that, if you're watching to this point, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so much. If you haven't already, pretty please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope that you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.